Hi, my name is Marcel, and I am one of the co-founders of LeanTime. Today, I want to give you a quick introduction into the core features of LeanTime and how to get started with the system. After you log in, you will see a dashboard, which gives you an overview of your currently selected project and project progress, including a project progress bar, milestone progress you're currently assigned to do, and a sprint burndown if, a current, uh, if you have an active sprint. You can change your currently selected project by changing the drop down on the top left hand side, which also shows you the projects you are assigned to. The left navigation represents the entire project development lifecycle, starting from research, going through ideation, roadmap planning, as well as task tracking under the to do section. The research section is really tailored towards you answering the three major questions each project should answer, and that is who are your customers, what kind of problem are you solving with this project, and um, how are you solving that, what is the solution. You can add multiple customers, multiple problems, and multiple solutions, have discussions around, around each of those items with your teammates, and attach milestones to um, each of those items individually. The research section is really tailored towards gathering all the data and, and formatting it in a way that is easily consumed by your team and your stakeholders, including um, assumptions, data, and conclusive results. After you're done with your research, um, you can go into ideation where you can share your prototypes, you can share ideas about how you want to solve a particular problem. And again, you can attach milestones to um, your ideas, you can discuss these ideas with your teammates and add description to each of those ideas. Once you have research and ideas done, you can really go into a road, longer term roadmap planning during which you will use the milestones that you have generated under ideas and research and plan the next few quarters and discuss how what are you going to be working on uh, on next and what are the milestones to actually solve this problem moving forward. Uh, this also gives you the ability to change the duration for each of those milestones and define when exactly you want to work on these as well as a progress bar to see how, how far along are you within this milestone. These progress bars are directly tied to the to-dos for each of those milestones. Under the to-do section, you will see a regular Kanban board with five predefined columns, new, blocked, in progress, waiting for approval, and done. And um, you'll be able to change the cards and move them around using just doing drag and drop. A lot of the major features of each of those to-dos can be changed right from this card view, who is assigned to this task, what type of effort. Um, is this and uh, which milestone is this task it's, uh, attached to. Um, you can also create a to-do right from this screen without having to go through the add button and um, make quick changes right, right then and here. You can go into a detailed view for each of those to-dos, which allows you to add additional description, um, additional dates, subtasks, files, comments, and um, do time tracking on um, each of those tasks. Going back to the to-do section, um, you have two different options to view your tasks. There's the Kanban view, and then there's the backlog view, which will give you a list overview, a prioritized list overview of your tasks. And um, this also allows you to drag and drop each of those tasks to reprioritize your backlog so that your highest priority items are always on the top of your backlog and you know exactly what is, um, what is next on your list that needs to be done. The retrospective board looks very similar to the research board but answers completely different questions. This is an internal um, process for you and your team to decide how is your current process going, how is your progress towards your your um, project going and um, how do you feel your, your team is performing. These are the major features of Lean Time and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will go through each of and every section in future videos and discuss in more in depth what you can and um, should be doing on each of those.